the Republicans are trumping the Democrats in early counting in the U.S. presidential election. Well, as far as the popular vote count is going at this stage, Senate seems also to be swinging to the red side. But it's still early days, so let's get to some update now from political analyst Justice Malala, who's joining us now live uh, uh, from New York. Uh, good morning, South African time, and good evening, your time there in the Big Apple uh, Justice. Well, we understand election results are beginning to come in, and at this early stage, projections are showing that Harris and Trump each, of course, are needing that 270 uh, electoral votes uh, to win from, that, from the Electoral College. But tell us currently, uh, before we talk about the differences between the votes, just how are things, how's the situation on the ground? What's the sentiment? The sentiment is not great if you're a Harris fan, and it's fantastic if you're a Trump fan. There are many, many sad faces here, Braden. Uh, a lot of people who had believed that Harris would surge ahead um, in, this, in these elections are feeling very, very nervous right now. It's, it's that stage of what is going on here. It's not yet quite defeated, but, but it's not looking good. On the Trump side, um, um, in offices uh, of the uh, Trump uh, and the GOP uh, Republican offices, people are beginning to feel like, wow, this could be possible. Uh, the New York Times has a little interesting uh, uh, timer that, that tells you where things are leaning. And, and the key states, Pennsylvania, uh, Georgia, Michigan, Wisconsin, are all beginning to lean towards Trump. So there's a lot of optimism in, on that side of the aisle. 